With the color patterns on this basket, I'm going to do twining. I've shown you how to do twining on the bottom of a basket, so now we're going to do it on the side. I'm going to start one piece behind and one piece behind the next one. The hardest thing is to keep a hold of that so that it doesn't slip apart. The one on, on the outside goes under and down. So the one on the outside goes under and down. You can keep it flat on the table like this if you wish. Sometimes it's easier if you tend to be a really tight weaver because if you weave too tightly with it in your lap, then you can end up pushing these in. When you get back to the end, if you just keep on twining like this, you have these two pieces that are next to each other, and you don't want that to happen. So this is the point where we call a step up needs to be done. And what this means is that you are back to the beginning, and you need to step up to the next row and make it so that there is no mistake there. So the one that it's under, you're just going to go over that one first. And then take the remaining one and end it. So now that you see that these are all broken up like this, then you can continue to twine. I have one that's a lot shorter than the other, and that's fine because I know that I'm going to make it with the shorter one. So you don't have to... You don't have to be so worried about that. And that just made it. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one under. And then this one here. So now you can see that there's no way you can tell where you started or stopped the basket. Because it looks the same all over. So in the next segment, we'll cover some more color and twining again.